I'm Max Herman, tour guide for the Ebor City Walking Tours and official ghost tour of Ebor City. Ebor City is actually one of the most haunted cities in all of America, and we're home to some of the most haunted buildings in all of America. It mostly has to do with all the different lives that have come through here from immigrants that started with nothing and built to something, and also some mafia that came this way, which I never say any names on my tour. You know, this whole place has a uniqueness to it that really you can't find in any other city. I started doing this tour because I love telling stories and educating people about my favorite town, Ebor City but eventually I really became a believer of how haunted these buildings really are. I've come face to face with some of these entities. I've talked to them, I've conversed with them, I've even made them laugh sometimes. I've also made them mad once in a while. If you're ready, let's enter into the fourth most haunted building in all of America. So there are a lot of spirits in the Cuban Club that we go into at the end of our tour that are not just famous in Tampa, but nationwide famous, including, of course, poor little Jaime, an eight-year-old boy that drowned in the pool of the Cuban Club, who actually has made contact with the ghost hunters on their show. And there's also uh, Dr. Cooley, the former president of the Cuban Club, who actually his term was cut short by murder, and he still has a lot of unfinished business in that club. There are really no smoke and mirrors on my tour. We don't really try to hoist any ghosts out, they seem to come out on their own. I have several people that come on my tours that are non-believers and those are always my favorite guests because really they get a lot of entertainment out of the stories anyway, but as soon as they walk into those buildings, that whole vibe changes to something you can't really explain and they uh, immediately are having the best time of their life. <laughs> 